current density. Let's say I want to know the magnetic field here. So I get a, a circle like this. And the magnetic field is going to be going like that, loops like that. OK. So I'm going to do integral of uh, B dotted into DL is mu 0 i enclosed. So it's going to be B times 2 pi r again. This time, the current enclosed is only going to be the current enclosed in this portion of the cylinder, right? So if I take a look at the cross-sectional view of the wire, this is the whole wire, and this is my current. I want to know how much current is enclosed in that portion of the wire as compared to the total current. So let's say there's a, a bunch of currents rushing in like that you see how much current is enclosed in that area well if it's the if the current density is uniform then the ratio of the current of this enclosed current to the total current the ratio of the enclosed current to the total current is going to equal to the ratio of the surface area divided by the total surface area right if it is uniform uh, density. So the pi and the pi cancel, and then I can put that for I enclosed. I enclosed is R squared over R squared times I total. And then when I solve this, one of the R's cancels. It's pretty much similar to what we've done in chapter 24 for uh, Gauss's law. So um, it should be pretty familiar to you. So the magnetic field, as R, R goes to 0, as R goes to 0, the magnetic field is 0, which it should be. You can't go to the center of the wire and still have magnetic field. The center should be zero. And as R goes bigger, bigger, it gets linearly bigger. The biggest that R can be, the biggest that little r can be is uh, the equal to big R. So when, when this is equal to big R, here's what you should check for. You should check for the uh, continuity of the function. When little r equals big R, when you put that here, you should get uh, big R cancels that. You should get mu zero i over two pi r. So that's the biggest, mu zero i over two pi r. And then after that, it decreases as one over r. And then for a while, it decreases some general function. And then afterwards, it decreases as what? When you go to as you go to infinity. The wire decreases as 1 over r to the what power? Two or three. Yeah, it was the coil that decreases as uh, three. So this gives you the whole general picture now. This is linearly proportional to r. This is 1 over r, and then some general function, and then 1 over r squared. And then if I go inside.